what is happening YouTube? It's been a minute. Um, bear with me guys as I've been on holiday and had a good time with my kids and had a break and that. Um, as yeah, I haven't been on holiday since I was last year. Um, I think I posted a video of it last time when I went on holiday for the first time in airplane. But um, yeah, I went to uh, Lanzarote this time. Had a lovely time with the kids. Um, yeah, it was brilliant to be fair. Um, really hot out there. Done a good 10 days out there. Um, but yeah, it was good, so I needed a break. But uh, I thought I'd fill you in on what I've been up to because you're probably thinking, where's he gone again? He was doing this build, he was doing that car. Um, if you follow me Instagram and my Facebook page, you'll know that I posted that recently saying that now I'm back from holiday, I'm gonna get stuff cracking basically. Um, and I haven't lied about it. I've literally, I got back last night um, and I've been out on the Punto today. Uh, getting everything buttoned up on it like I said I would and I also said that I wouldn't put another video on it until it was started so um, yeah so sorry guys it's been a while um, but you know it's not like I'm, I'm getting on a bit I'm 30 odd um, I'll do this for enjoyment um, I know that my channel may not ever take off properly I may not ever get anywhere but I, I enjoy it so it's just just a bit of a personal enjoyment reason I do it because obviously I watch Boosted Boys and that. But um, yeah, so being um, 30 odd with responsibilities, jobs, kids, um, I'm not as as forward and as often as these other YouTubers. It's, don't really have to say it, um, but yeah. So basically today, um, I'm just gonna give you an update. It's an update video on where we're at, on everything really, um, and what's happening. So. Right, as you can see guys, today, hang on a minute, let me check my tripod, that's better. Um, today, I've been making boost pipes. Um, I've got the intercooler all on, it's not finished. Um, I'm gonna have to rearrange this side because I'm not happy with it down there. Um, it's too low, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna take the radiator support bracket off, which is down here on this part and I'm going to cut it um, and weld another part underneath it so it's like a little U slot so I can have the, the boost pipe for it because I'm underneath it at the moment. This was just to try and get the car running. And obviously this is all temporary, it's just basically get the car together, get it running, see if it's all good. Um, and that was the aim. So yeah, today, first things first, I come back, I changed a new starter motor as the other one was dead. Um, I put the lambda sensor on, um, and what else have I done? Oh yeah, I've got yet to change the wiper motor for the MOT, because that one's playing up. Um, and yeah, I've done it, and obviously in all day I've been making boost pipes, um, and just basically plugging everything else. Um, and I had a problem with the, the gear linkage as well, which I had to sort out. Um, I had to find a clip to put the cable in, so yeah, it's been a, a long day on this car. I've um, probably been out here a good four and a half hours and it's it's absolutely beaming out here. I think it's 25 plus today and we're in the UK, so that's very hot for the UK. But um, anyway, let's have a look on what's happening with the Punto. Do we think she starts? Let's have a look, I'm not sure. I've got everything plumbed in. I've got everything back together. Um, remember how I bought this car, guys, as well? I actually bought it with an engine in the boot and I haven't built these for years. Um, so please bear with me. Let's have a look. We have life. We've got a blow and a misfire by the sounds of it, but it's life and we've got good oil pressure. Have a look. Oh, 
tight, it's because it's got no brake fluid in it, that's why it's come up to stop that. But yep, we're moving. There's no smoke. The car's alive. It drives. So, buzzing with that. But as I said, it hasn't had spark plugs and it hasn't been serviced in a long time, so that could be it. But she is alive, and obviously, the airbox isn't on yet, it's not fully buttoned up yet, but we know it will go, so that's the main thing. I'm gonna switch her off so you can hear me a bit better. Sounds deep though, let's have a quick listen from the outside. So, finally there, she's all running and she's driving off her own, off her own power. So that is a, a weight off my back. Um, I've got a few things to tidy up and button up on it now. Um, but I'll be having a rest for today. Probably jump on it tomorrow and get the last little bits buttoned up. Um, but as I said to you, um, she was going to run in the next video that I've done of her. Um, and I come back today, spent a few hours on it. Um, it's not got cool in it yet, the brakes will need bleeding, um, little things like that, but yeah, I'm, but I'm happy to be honest with you, because I, at first I had a, there was a problem with an earth on it, um, there was an earth that wasn't connected, which was um, at the gearbox side, it had been cut, um, it goes to the negative side of the battery, but the way the wire was plumbed, um, I couldn't actually see that it was cut because it was it was like I was cutting between, it was weird, I don't know how they've cut it, but it was like it was cut, but it was strapped down like underneath where the headlight goes and you couldn't even see and it went inside sort of like the the casing of the car and then come out and I didn't didn't notice it so um I thought everything was all done up and I thought oh god why is it not starting and uh, I started going for it and anyway I found the problem so and got it all fixed and all sorted. So the Punto is alive and going to be polished up in the next couple of days, ready for sale. So if anyone is interested, I will have it obviously running properly before it goes, because obviously it's going to have to get an MOT. Um, so the missile will be gone, um, it will be serviced, and I think it needs some bushes underneath the car on the anti-roll bar side. Um, and I will be getting them done for the MOT, obviously. Um, so yeah, the car will be up for sale anyone's interested pm me i will do a full video when the car is 100 percent but as i haven't vlogged in a while i thought i'd um do one now show you that it is running and we're alive and give you an update on other cars so basically the eg is basically gonna get started on as soon as this leaves so yeah um i've got a nice surprise turning up for that tomorrow um which i'll show in my next video which is obviously yeah it's quite a, it's quite a good part of the car um, i think it makes the car look 50 times better and it, well there's a couple of surprises lined up anyway i'm not saying too much until everything's arrived and then i can say that it, it just weren't rumors so yeah so the eg will be getting started on properly i'd say within the next two weeks um got a lot of parts already turned up for it um which i ain't gonna show because i'm gonna do a separate video on the eg but this is i said this is an update to let you guys know that it is it is happening it's not just sitting there rotting or it's not going to be sold because i always wanted an all-wheel drive honda and picking this one up um was quite good really because obviously it's all done and i just need to basically button it up you guys know the, the, the drill with this anyway if you follow the channel um so yeah the eg will be having progress in the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for that and the ep3 guys um the ep3 is being done by craig still um uh, i was meant to go down to see him today but i obviously been busy on the punto and i was gonna pop down the evening he's got another job he's got to fly out to so i'm gonna go down there tomorrow um and give you guys a full video on the ep3 hopefully an update of where that is um I believe it's on the finishing touches. I haven't spoke much to Craig, who's been working on the car, so bear with me. Um, 
but hopefully it's thereabouts because I did say when I'm back from Holiday Craig I'll collect it and we'll go and get the mapping sorted which is obviously the plan because obviously I'm missing valuable weather, valuable time to be at showing people what this Honda's about so <laughs> yes yeah, so fingers crossed hopefully we'll see where we are because I don't even know where we are on the EP3 yet so I've had a little update I know the fuel system's fully done completely done now um, I know the battery's been fully relocated to its final position um, Oh, and I can't remember there is some other little bits that have been done as I said I'm not 100% sure on it because I've not been there and I've been away so um, yeah tomorrow I will go and get a full video on the EP3 build for you guys and keep you updated on everything because it's been a while and you're probably thinking oh here he goes again long time without no videos but no honestly there's gonna be more content now because uh, lost a bit of motivation a little for a little while um, but yeah, just I'm back now. To be honest, I had a I had a break from on holiday, a bit of time to think about things and know what I want to do. Still haven't found a unit, which is annoying um, because I'd like to make this Punto 100% mint before it goes. And I'll be honest, it's not going to be 100% mint. It's going to be nice, but it's not going to be mint. So, um, but when it when I put the listing up, every last little problem that there'll be, which is only tiny problems like um, like piping, like you need a proper reducer instead of the way I've just bodged them on for the time. Um, like alloys will need like refurbishing, the paintwork might need a good buff or something like that. So it's going to be little bits, but um, if I had the space, I would love to do it, guys. But um, unfortunately, I need my driveway back to get my EP3 back so I can crack on with the other little bits that I've got to do because obviously, I've got to do the wire inside of things or gauges to go in, ECUs to go in. I've wrote a base map for it myself. Um, for the time, I've yeah, wrote basically a boosted base map for the time just to uh, get down to my map um, and then yeah basically hopefully I can get the car the EP3 tuned very soon live in the next week or so that is the aim um, but yeah so sorry about I'm babbling on guys it's been a while I'm just giving you the full heads up on what, what's been happening what I've been doing um, yeah so I've been the holiday I went Lanzarote I'll post a few pictures in this um, video for you to show our lo lovely scenery out there is absolutely beautiful out there um, so I recommend it to anyone who does go out there but it's, it's a lovely lovely place and lovely holiday so I do other things other than cars as well I play darts I do my holiday I do gym but I'm gonna post everything but I'll post a couple of snaps of the Ollie for you just to so you can see how nice it is and if you ever decide to go out there then it's a nice place to go guys so anyway thanks for watching like subscribe share um, Plenty more coming. You know what I'm like, guys. So, yeah, there's going to be some good gapping videos very soon. Stay tuned. I can feel your heart racing Cause everybody knows Yeah, everybody knows Touch. That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. Oh.